dum 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 how many people did that? How many people did that? How many people who reviewed the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Cockroach Terminator made the Terminator reference. Well, we're not going to stop there because I absolutely uh, like to run jokes into the ground. So expect many more to come. But of course, today we're going to be taking a look at uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Cockroach Terminator, as I just mentioned previously. My name is Blitzwinger. I hope you guys are having a fantastic, fantastic day. And of course, don't forget, guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, smash that like button. It really does help me out a ton. So that being said, Cockroach Terminator, let's get rocking. As you can see, it says right here, Mutated Spyroach, which is obviously referencing the little roach, well, spoiler alert, that Donatello used to have in the show. And then some things go uh, not too well, <laughs> and then we come to this character, which is awesome. I love the crazy villains that we get from the new show. It's really, really great, just like the old show itself. So as you can see, of course, standard great packaging here. Uh, very, very colorful, very eye-catchy in the um, on the shelves and stuff, so I really love that. Of course, we've got the name on uh, across. You uh, you get one of the play features here, which uh, says attach the saw as shown below, so that attaches right into his belly there, which we'll take a look at in just a moment once we get him out of package. And then, of course, we've got some of the other figures in the line and the different lines here, actually, because it's different waves, I should say. Uh, but, uh, for example, I'm still looking for the Rat King. Definitely want to find him. The Mausers is definitely something that I want to pick up. And um, the uh, Kid Turtles. I know that they don't look particularly great, but I still want to own them because they look super duper cool and fun. So that being said, let's have a look at the um, character bio here for the Cockroach Terminator. And as you can see, it, uh, it comes in several different languages, so if you speak any one of the other ones, you can uh, actually read that and uh, enjoy that, I guess. So uh, before we get to that, of course, his weapons include a saw blade, the blaster, and spy gear. Uh, but uh, the little car character bio reads as following. Meet the biggest and toughest insect ever. Cockroach Terminator was once Donnie's little spy. Sorry, little spy uh, before falling into a container of mutant news and mutating into an unstoppable monster. He's ready to destroy anything that crosses his way, including the turtles. Anyone who pesters this insect should be ready to get stung. Boom, boom, boom! Alrighty, sounds pretty awesome to me. Alright, so now let's get him out of this prison, even though cockroaches are very good at surviving, uh, because they can even apparently survive nuclear bombs, which is ridiculous. Most resilient creatures, I think. Uh, but of course, let's get him out of this uh, clamshell. Hopefully he survived that. And uh, take a look at the toy itself, shall we? Yay! Yay, another Arnold Schwarzenegger, ter uh, not Terminator, Predator reference. But still, I guess it kind of ties together. But nonetheless, of course, let's take a look at the Cockroach Terminator. Looks absolutely awesome. By no means necessary is this a perfect figure. Just like all the other uh, figures in this line, they have a lot of flaws, but I just love them because of the designs. I love the designs of the characters, and therefore, plus it's very, very nostalgic for me uh, to remember the older toys that I never was able to collect because they were too expensive and I couldn't own them. Now that I've got a job and everything, I can actually purchase them. Uh, and it kind of uh, is like a nostalgic memory type thing. Uh, but as you can see, it's got a, uh, this, uh, the Cockroach Terminator has a pretty gosh darn cool uh, head sculpt, very, very uh, kind of unusual and creepy looking for sure. Now this antenna actually you have to do plug it in uh, on your own. It comes uh, separately like that, so you actually do have to just place that in there, which is nothing too complex. You just push it in and that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, other than that, pretty much predominantly brownish colors as you can see, uh, hues and stuff, just a little bit of detail right here, kind of robotic stuff. And you can see I love the little uh, eye patch here, you know, to represent the whole Terminator part of him, which is fantastic, gotta love that. Now the one aspect that I love the most is the kind of back shell here. That looks absolutely awesome. I don't know why it is, but I just love this look. It's really, really cool. And definitely kind of creepy looking, especially if you're scared of bugs and stuff. Uh, very cool, and I love this little kind of, I don't even know, like a vent point, I guess. Uh, now, this is kind of the big uh, gimmick with this toy is, of course, the saw. So, it actually comes separately like that. So, he's got a giant hole in his chest. I've been shot. And uh, basically, all you do is just uh, place it right there. And then, uh, I guess you could push it in and out and slice and dice the turtles, or any opponents for that matter, as the Terminator. 
because a cockroach terminator, hopefully he'll be like um, the regular terminator. He starts bad, he becomes good. Uh, now this figure actually has pretty decent articulation in the arms, which impressed me, because a lot of these uh, villain characters don't get very good articulation treatment. Well, actually, none of the characters except for the first wave of the turtles have gotten particularly good articulation, especially in comparison to those. I wish all the figures were that articulate, uh, but overall it's still fairly well articulated. As you can see, we've got a nice uh, ball joint all around so you can get a lot of maneuverability uh, from the hands which is really really great would have been nice to get a little bit more articulation in the wrist itself uh, that would have been a nice touch I would have loved to see that but unfortunately uh, we weren't lucky enough to get that now the big issue with this figure comes in the legs uh, because the issue is uh, he actually stands fairly well which is great because I was a little worried about it uh, but the issue is that the articulation if you could see it only moves outwards or kind of like to the side like this but the problem is you can't get the leg to point forwards like you can't get it to point this way and the main reason for that is because there is no joint here like for example if there was a joint here you could just swivel uh, the calf or swivel it at the shin I guess and then point the toes towards your direction so that means that for example like you can't have your figure articulated like this, right? Like, what is he doing? What is that pose? Getting squashed or something? So you really are kind of stuck with the pose that he has, which is a little unfortunate, but again, it's one of those things that I've come to be used to with this particular line, and I've accepted it as a necessary evil kind of thing, uh, for getting a really cool stylized design. And that's really what I want most, is to get accurate depictions of the designs from the show into toy form. So for me, I absolutely love the Cockroach Terminator who keeps making Arnold Schwarzenegger references. So I think we need to take care of this Alrighty, now, guys. Don't we? Got myself just the right thing. Bam! Some dollar store bug spray. Let's take care of this sucker, shall we? All right, you better hold back. Bam! We got him. That's it. See you later, sucker. Uh, uh. I'll be back! <laughs>